You've often heard me talk about how the Philadelphia Fusion can carry from any role. This is what I mean. Everyone on the Philadelphia Fusion has incredible mechanics, which pressures the enemy's positioning, and more importantly, their Reinhardt's shield health. This puts the enemies on a clock. Think of Reinhardt's shield as the amount of time you can be active on a given map. You have a set amount of time to engage, you have a set amount of time to volley and peek angles. What Philly does better than any team I've seen thus far is that they expedite the proverbial timer by pressuring mispositions. The fusion are, quite literally, aiming through your shield. If your shield isn't there to cover your teammates in time, they run the risk of taking a considerable amount of damage and often get picked off early. And we know that first kills are vitally important to team fights. In turn, this forces the enemy's shield to be active longer and runs the clock down. This forks the enemy's choices. They either kite back, regen their shields, give up space, and then return to the neutral, or they take an early engage which already plays into the Philadelphia Fusion's game plan. Either way, you can't win. Planting your feet at the crossroads is not a choice either. You'll either lose your Rhine shield or somebody in the volley will misposition and get picked off either way. And these picks do happen, but what's most interesting is that they come from a weird role. First, let's look at the New York Excelsior versus the Fusion. The first fight on control is incredibly important. The key here is that both walls don't find any value. With the Fusion in trouble with a total health pool disadvantage, they need to make a play and Carpe and Funny Astro show up big. Spotting out a Jonak that's just a little too far away from his main tank, they get a decisive kill which swings the fight in their favor. It's this coordination and timing that makes the Fusion so potent. However, that's not the only example. During the Florida Mayhem versus the Philadelphia Fusion in week two, we see a pick happen on Yaki before he can expend any cooldowns. While he and the Mayhem are playing the neutral game, the shield timer concept comes into play beautifully. Between Ivy, Funny Astro, and Alarm peppering Karayan's shield, he has to flicker it down so it can recharge. And in that brief moment, Yaki catches a few too many stray bullets to the head which puts him away and opens the point completely for the fusion. It's this high level of coordination that makes them truly elite. This sleep dart from Alarm is another beautiful example of this coordination in motion. It should be no surprise to you at this point that Alarm can pull off these sick plays, but it's everybody's participation in the follow-up that's important. Now, how many teams on the top of your head feel like they're this talented from every position? There are very few. Possibly the Shock, maybe the Titans if they don't self-destruct midseason. The Philadelphia Fusion, in that sense, can carry from every role. They have playmakers in every position, from tank to support. You can always rely on somebody from the Fusion to make a play. This fact is even echoed in the team's statistics. Here's the rookie main support star, Funny Astro. He sits at third in healing per 10. 4th in eliminations per 10, 3rd in hero damage per 10, 4th in environmental kills per 10, and 4th in solo kills per 10. That same praise can be showered to main tank Sato who has blown open the stock market with his amazing performances. Final blows per 10 minutes, eliminations per 10 minutes, hero damage, solo kills, deaths. He performs very well if not tops most of these statistics. While their performance against the Toronto Defiant was harrowing, it's not time to capitulate. That match came down to two different styles clashing against one another and the fusion being slow to adapt. Rest assured, with such a talented and deep roster, Philly would continue to perform well and extend their winning ways into the new hero pool system. I would not be surprised to see them at the midseason tournament this coming May and perform very well within it. In combat and in traditional sports, what's measured is often the weapons on the court or in the cage and the Philadelphia Fusion provides six of these weapons at any one given time. What else is provided is my ugly mug providing content for you on this very YouTube channel. So if you enjoyed this video, please check out this video or consider subscribing to be notified when more content goes live.